Hello, I'm Carolyn Kanicki, and I'm the second horn with the Colorado Symphony. Benjamin Britten composed his violin concerto at the young age of 27, yet in each movement he was able to convey the persistent struggle of the human condition with wisdom beyond his years. Written in 1936, between the Great Depression and World War II, and during the Spanish Civil War, Britain's Violin Concerto is as emotionally wrought as it is technically virtuosic. It's fitting then that this piece will be performed by globally praised violinist Augustin Hodelik. Hodelik was born in Cecina, Italy in 1984. He began studying violin at age five and was soon considered a prodigy. After a life-changing accident at age 15, Hodelik persevered through years of physical therapy to regain his movement and went on to study at Juilliard. If any violinist has the prescience, technical skill, and personal experience to truly play Britain's Violin Concerto, it's Augustin Hodelik. Britain's Violin Concerto is presented with works by two other 20th century composers, Samuel Barber's Symphony No. 1 and Adagio for Strings, and Edward Elgar's In the South. Premiered in 1938, Barber's Adagio for Strings is haunting, tense, and at times tortured. Adagio for Strings is considered Barber's best work and is among the most popular compositions of the 20th century. You may recognize it from director Oliver Stone's 1986 war film Platoon. Unlike Barber's Adagio, his Symphony No. 1 is far more energetic. Composed in 1936, Barber's Symphony in One Movement is a rousing piece that interlaces full, forceful orchestration with subdued moments. Barber's Adagio and Energetic First Symphony in One Movement are in direct contrast to Elgar's In the South. Written in 1904, Elgar was inspired to compose In the South during a family visit to the Italian resort of Alasio. Elgar was a nostalgic man and disliked many modern trappings, especially those in the name of industry. As Elgar walked around idyllic Alasio, he was struck by its natural beauty and history. Elgar, Barber, and Britain each felt deeply the turbulent changes of their generation. Whether capturing these changes with the riotous power of Britain's violin concerto, or soothing their effects in Elgar's faraway Elasio, their music is timeless as it speaks to our hopes and struggles. Subscribe to eNotes, the Colorado Symphony's weekly email for the latest updates on concerts, and download our mobile app today for tickets, program notes, and to enhance your concert experience with your Colorado Symphony.